Hi everybody, this is Chris from FluentInMandarin.com and I'm back for another mini-series of videos about Chinese characters. I've done some videos about Chinese characters before, but now I want to do some more in-depth videos and give you an introduction to some of the different types of characters and more examples as well. And in this video, the first video, I want to talk about the Chinese characters that look like things. There's actually quite a lot of confusing information out there about Chinese characters, which implies that most of the Chinese characters out there are pictures of things. But actually this isn't true. Only a small proportion of Chinese characters come directly from pictures of things. It's only about, some estimates say, around 4%, maybe even less now. These characters are called xiangxingzi, or pictograms, essentially. And it's estimated that there are about 600 of these characters that are essentially pictures of things. But they are, as I said, the minority among Chinese characters. But anyway, let's have a look at a few examples of these characters which look like things or are pictures of things. Some of them have become stylized or simplified over time, so they don't actually look that much like the picture that they used to represent. So that's something you've got to bear in mind. So there's some major categories of these kind of characters, and the first one is people and parts of the body. So you might already know that the Chinese character for woman, nu, is essentially a picture of a woman. As I said, it doesn't really look like much like one anymore. And these examples that I'm giving you are actually, it's not a historical progression of the character. These are just different examples of the different forms of this character at different times or in different fonts. It's not a historical progression from left to right, so bear that in mind. The character on the right here is the modern day character Nu, which means woman. And it was originally from a picture of a woman. We've also got Zi, which means child in classical Chinese and is used in a lot of Chinese words. It was originally a picture of a baby or a person, and you can see the more modern version in the title at the bottom. In each case, you can see where I've put the pronunciation guide and the English, you can see the modern character, and then above that, you can see some different versions of the character in different periods or in different fonts. We also have Ren, which is person, and originally this was a picture of a man standing up, and it's become slightly stylized. It doesn't really look like that now. We've also got R, which was originally a picture of an ear. As you can see at the bottom, this is what it looks like in modern Chinese, R. One thing that I should probably point out as well is that words in Chinese often are made up of two characters. So for example, if you want to say ear in modern Chinese, you don't say R, just one character on its own. Many words in modern Chinese are actually two characters now. So ear in modern Chinese would be er duo. This is just the single character version. If you want to say the word, it would be er duo, two characters. That's just an example. Let's look at some other examples. Mu means an eye. And this is an old-fashioned word for eye. Originally it was a picture of an eye, but now it's got actually turned on its side in the modern Chinese version. But this isn't actually the most common word for eye in Chinese. Normally, eye would be yanjing. This is an older character representing an eye. What else have we got? Shou means hand. And this was originally a picture of a hand, or a very stylized drawing of a hand. Kou means mouth or opening. This is this character written in three different styles and three different versions of this character. But kou means mouth or opening. As you can see, it looks like a mouth. Another category of the characters that look like things is animals. So let's have a look at some of the animal characters in Chinese. Ma means horse, and it originally came from a picture of a horse. You can see some of the versions of this character over time. And in brackets at the bottom, I've also put the traditional character version, because some characters in Chinese have been simplified in mainland China from the original character versions. So I've put the original full version of the character in brackets at the bottom in each case. So this is ma, which means horse. What else have we got? Yu means fish. It was originally a picture of a fish. You can still see the head at the top and the scales at the bottom. This was a picture of a fish. We also have gui, which means tortoise. The full word for this in modern Chinese is wu gui. This was originally from a picture of a tortoise or a turtle. 
and the traditional character version is in brackets once again. Niao means bird. Niao. And originally this came from a picture of a bird. Yang is sheep. And originally this came from a picture of a sheep's head. Shu means mouse or rat. And originally this came from a picture of a mouse with the tail at the bottom. Hu, tiger, also originally came from a picture of a tiger. Long is the word for dragon in Chinese. It originally came from a picture of a dragon. Again, the, the traditional version of the character is in brackets and the simplified version is on the left at the bottom. Also, we have the Chinese characters that look like things in the natural world. For example, Shan was a picture of three mountains, is what it originally came from. And this character means mountain. Shui means water. And this is from a picture of flowing water. You can see three versions of this character at the top. Mu means tree. And this is very obviously a picture of a tree. Ri means sun or day, and it's got another meaning as well, which I won't go into here. But this character was originally from a picture of the sun, and now it's become modified, but that's where it originally came from. Yu means moon, and this is from a picture of the moon. And there's also another version of this character that looks very similar, which means flesh. And it comes, and it essentially looks the same in some of its forms. Yu means rain, and this character was originally a picture of the sky and then raindrops coming from the sky. You can see it still looks a bit like this nowadays. Also, we have some objects, which are essentially pictographic representations of the original character. For example, Tsu means a volume of a book, or a book. This was originally a picture of wooden strips of bamboo, writing strips tied together. You can see they're tied together in the middle. Tsu. Zhou is an old-fashioned word for boat, and it originally came from a picture of a boat. You can see in the modern character, it's essentially got turned on its side a bit, but that's where it came from. Zhu means bamboo, and it's from a picture of two twigs of bamboo. Jin means a piece of cloth. And it's a picture of a piece of cloth hanging up. Tu means earth or land. And it's originally from a picture of a clod of dirt. Or a picture of a plant growing up out of the ground. Dao means knife. And this was originally a picture of a knife. This one's also got turned on its side a bit in the modern version. Shao means a spoon. And this, for, this is from a picture of a spoon. Gong means bow, and this is from a picture of a bow. Men means a door or a gate. Again, you can see the full version of this character, the original traditional form of the character in brackets, which basically looks like door or a gate. It actually looks to me like, almost like the doors you get in the saloons in the old Wild West movies. This is door or gate. Men. Mao means hair, and it's originally from a picture of a hare. Tian means field. And as you can see, it's like a, a square that's divided up into four sections. And that's because in ancient China, uh, after a certain period, they started dividing their fields into equal fields like this. And therefore, this represents cultivated land. Jia also means helmet or armor or a nail. And this comes from a picture of some kind of armor. Ro means meat or flesh. And this comes from a picture of some flesh. And you can see the marks on the flesh of the meat in this picture. S silk is a picture of two twisted strands of silk. And that's where this character originally comes from in the traditional version of the character. Okay, so I've given you loads of examples in this video. I hope you learned a lot from the characters that I taught you in this video. 
If you want to find out more about learning Chinese and you want to get a free guide that I've put together, just click on the link in the description of this video to sign up and I'll give you this guide to you for free. The 10 biggest mistakes that beginners in Chinese make. That's all you have to do. So go ahead and do that now and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to follow all of my future videos and see all of the other videos on my channel as well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.